by with Nancy Mock, who makes some delicious mm -hmm. desserts. Hello. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, if you missed it just a few minutes ago, Nancy Mock introduced us to a few of her icebox cake and pie recipes. Mm -hmm. We're talking about things you can make to satisfy your sweet tooth without the oven. Right. This is very hot this time of year. <laughs> Turning on the oven, as I experienced last night making a pizza, no fun. Not a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so can you recap uh, what we showed last time and then uh, tell us what we're going to be doing now? Sure. I made these two icebox cakes. Um, this one is honey cream blackberries. Mm -hmm. It's layered with ladyfingers and mascarpone cheese mixed with whipped cream, blackberries, and there's some lemon in there too. This one is layers of pound cake with lime and uh, white chocolate pudding with some white chocolate on top. And this is a lemon and lavender pie with lemon pudding and vanilla wafer crust and lavender whipped cream on top. Um, they all wow. are kind of quick to assemble. They <laughs> go in the fridge overnight and then you can slice them up and serve them the next day. Yum. <laughs> oh my goodness. All those flavors together sound so fantastic. <laughs> you're, you're a genius. Oh, okay. Very talented. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I'm seeing some strawberries and some graham crackers, and I'm kind of wondering what's going on now. We have another one, a strawberries and cream icebox cake that I thought we could quickly do, like a little demo of how quickly yeah. it goes together. Yeah. Um, so I will move this here. Okay. So this one goes into a loaf pan, and the other ones go into cake pans or pie tin. And so okay. the strawberries and cream begins with a layer of whipped cream on the bottom. Would you like to oh, do that? Oh, goodness. You want me to work here? Okay. Yeah. Don't judge me. I'm not very good. And in the recipe <laughs> on my blog, it's all like it tells you how much to put in each layer. But okay. We can so just are we going kind of thick or kind of thin or? A little bit thin. Yeah, what you have down there is good. Okay. And smooth it out. All right. For Perfect. TV's sake, we'll do quickly. Yes. <laughs> and then you do a layer of graham crackers along the bottom like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just keep going. Yeah. And you kind of fit them close together, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. It's like a little puzzle. And then on top of that layer are some sliced strawberries. Ooh. And again, you can be as finicky with this if, if you want, or you can just kind of throw them in there. This seems like it would be great for kids to help out with. It would be, right. There's, it goes together quick. Um, they can help with all the components. So yeah, that would be great for kids. And then you just repeat the layers. So there'd be more of cream on top okay. of that. I like this two-person effort, team effort here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's going together really quick. <laughs> And then you do the grams again, and then the strawberries again. And you keep Very going until cool. you get to the top. Um, and then here's the big reveal. This Ooh, is what it looks like. Jungle. Yeah. Oh, yum. Like that. And then I cut some out, too, so you can see the layers inside. Okay, here. Where are we going? Over here. Yep. There we are. And this is after it's chilled overnight. Everything is set together, and you slice it and serve it. Excellent. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, do you want to try any of these? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Brittany was walking by earlier. She said, I just want to stick my finger in everything. <laughs> I know. It's like that whipped cream that you yeah. just like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, All my right. goodness. Okay. okay. So Forks all around here. This one is the blackberry with honey. This is lemon lavender. <laughs> Strawberries and Better cream. Better try it with us. I will. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I'll go with the blackberry one. And this one's white chocolate lime. Oh, my goodness. And this is this kind of shows to why you need to refrigerate them overnight because it gets a little droopy, but it's okay. Mmm. That's too good. <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious. And you can really taste all the different flavors. Oh, and you were saying earlier, you can kind of invent your own, too. You can. You can do a different flavor of cookie as the crust for this one, different flavors of pudding to layer. You can do strawberries here instead of blackberries or blueberries here instead of strawberries. Sure. Whatever you, have, whatever, whatever you have on hand, whatever your flavor preferences are. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Nancy, yes. for joining us again. HungryEnoughToEat6.com is their blog. You can find the icebox cake recipes there. Make something sweet tonight, and then we have to turn the oven on. Right. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, thank Nancy. Thank you very much.